Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create customizable canvas teacher bags for your child's favorite teacher using bags and HTV that I purchased from Amazon. I will leave all of my supplies listed in the description box below. I also created a few other teacher gift how-to videos if you're interested in seeing more. Now let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm starting in Design Space and I'm really excited to show you how to create these. I've created these for a client previously and I thought I would show you guys a video on how to do it. It was a lot of fun, it was a lot of work, but it's going to be really amazing to give to a teacher or you can sell these as well. So I bought some of these from Etsy and I bought some of these designs from Design Space. I'm just going to show you a few things. I'm not going to show you each one. If you want to go in detail, let me know and I will create another video. There's only a few things I'm going to do to this. So you can leave it black if you want, or you can change the whole thing. Unfortunately, with these, it comes as one full cut. So each one of these is a full cut. I can't uh, detach it anywhere. And um, so, yeah, it, it only would go in one color. So you can change the color up here, go to the color box. You can change it blue, whatever you want. I'm going to show you a couple different things really quick here. So I like this one, Chaos Coordinator. I think that's really cute for a teacher. And then this Teach, Love, and Inspire. With the Teach Love Inspire one, this one actually did come separate, so we can do the um, words a different color. So I'm going to work with these two and show you a couple different things here. So I'm going to work with this one, Chaos Coordinator. So I want to do Chaos Coordinator one color and then make this like a red or a pink color. And I'm working with some HTV that I got from HTV Rant. H-T-V-R-O-N-T. I absolutely love this stuff. They sent me some stuff to work with and try out. I've used it previously on my keychains that I created. If you haven't seen that video, go back and you can watch that. And now I'm doing their heat transfer vinyl on bags that I bought from Amazon. So I'm really excited to use this. They, they have great customer service. It came really quick and I'm going to be purchasing a lot more from there. Again, H-T-V Rant, but I really love um, their website web page is really awesome. So I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in it, but I'm going to show you really quick just a few of the things that they do actually sell here. Um, they do uh, daily deals, memberships, they have HTV, they have regular vinyl, they have transfer tape. Like I said, I used uh, some regular vinyl from them, some 651 vinyl for my keychains, and I absolutely love how it weeds out. I love how it goes on. So I highly recommend this company, HTV Rant. I love it. It's really amazing. So they sent me, like I said, some vinyl and then some HTV. So I'm going to be using their HTV holographic vinyl and we're going to see how it works, but I'm really excited for this. I'm going to close this out and get back to this. So with this one, I want it to be two separate colors. So an easy way to do this is um, actually go ahead and select it and duplicate it. So and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to go on one of them. I'm going to go to the contour button here and I love this button that they have on here. You can go in here and click all these or you can automatically go in here and um, get them separately, but it's sometimes easier to go on the side. So I wanna get rid of the words and just leave the heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on all of these. Like I said, or you can go over here and select them, but I'm just gonna go on the side here, which makes it much easier to see which ones we're selecting. And as you can see up here, it's going away, um, getting lighter. So all it's gonna, that's going to be left with this one is this heart, and that's exactly what I want. So here it is. So I have the heart here, and now instead of going back into the contour button, I'm actually going to do this a different way, and I'm going to show you it really quick. You can do it either way. All right, so instead of doing the contour button again, I'm going to show you a different way. So I'm going to go up here to shapes. I'm going to click on a square, and now I want to get rid of the bottom part here. I'm going to show you just a quicker way to do it. So I have a square. I'm going to unlock it here make it big enough. I'm going to move this because I don't want to get rid of that. And I want to get rid of just the heart here. So you can go back into the contour button, but I'm showing you another way that you can do it. And I can see there's still a little bit of a piece here, so I'm going to pull it up just a little bit. I'm trying not to go over the letters. We'll have to fix that. So then you just want to select both the image and the box that you did. Hit the slice button. And then you can get rid of this. So here's that. 
Here's the copy. Here's the original. So here we go, chaos coordinator. So now I have two different pieces. As I still see there's a little piece here that I missed, you can do the same thing. You can go into shapes. I'll grab a circle and then just go over that little part. Again, you can go in, whoops, you can go in and do the contour button, but I'm just showing you a different way that you could do it. So if you didn't know how to do this, here you go. So again, I'm just gonna click slice, get rid of my circle, and then get rid of the two pieces. That was the copy, here's the original. So here we go, two pieces. Now you can go ahead and change the color. You could go in and do it for this one as well if you want chaos coordinators to be two different colors, but I think I want it all one color and then this a different color. So I'm gonna change this really quick to like a red and then maybe, um, you know, we'll just do green for now. It's not going to be red and green. I haven't decided what color I want to use for the HTV, but like I said, I'm using holographic. So I know when I cut this out, that green and red are going to be my holographic colors. So the last thing I want to do with this is actually make it the size I need. So I'm going to grab both of these. I'm going to center it. So I'm going to go see the line button and center it. Doesn't matter because when you cut this out, it's not going to cut out this way anyway because it's going to cut out the green and the red separate. But I wanted it centered that I could get the correct sizing. So I'm going to get rid of this for a minute too. Grab this one more time. Whoops, I don't want that one. Grab this one more time and then go up here and change it. So I know I'm going to keep it locked. I know I want this to be a 12 by 12, as big as my mat is going to let me go. So I'm going to do 12 by 12. Whoops. I am going to unlock it. Sorry guys, I'm making a mistake here. 12 by 12. And I'm really sorry if you guys hear the music in the background. My husband and my family are watching a movie. <laughs> so you might hear it in the background. So here it is. Because it's cutting out two different pieces, you see here it's not actually 12 by 12, so it will cut out. If this was the same color and you were cutting it together, it wouldn't let you because it won't. It will only let you cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So I got lucky with this one. So I'm going to leave this the way it is. I'm going to remember that green and red are going to be my holographic colors. So this is finished. I'm just going to get go. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't talk. I'm going to go ahead and hide it. Then I'm going to show you this one really quick. Teach, love, inspire. So I'm going to move this one. And this one, I wanted different colors as well, but because you can see on the side here, they are separate, I don't have to go in and do all that. I just have to go to the ungroup button up here and then go in and actually attach these. So you can see this one is separate from the T. So I'm going, going, to, I'm going to go ahead and undo what I just did, grab just the teach part, and now I'm going to go to attach. So that is one whole piece here, as you see. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that move because I like it where it is and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the love and attach then go to the inspire and attach so this will just cut it out as one whole piece instead of having the T separate from the each and the L from the of <laughs> um, it will cut out as one whole piece. Now I can go ahead and change the colors to whatever I want. So again, I'm not actually sure which color I'm going to be using. It's gonna be a surprise for you guys. So I'm just gonna change the colors. So let's just do, I don't wanna do green because I want it to be a separate color. I'm gonna do orange and then I'll change this one. And we'll do like a purple, there we go. So when these cut out, I will know that these are going to be different HTV um, holographic colors. So the last thing I wanna do is change the size. This one, um, is going to be the same thing. I can make this 12 by 12 because it's going to cut out each one individually. So I'm going to unlock it up here and change it to be 12 by 12. There we go. And it looks a little bit smaller because my screen is shrunk. So if I bring it up, this is actually the size it is going to be. Um, one last thing, very important. Um, even if you buy uh, uh, SVGs from a place, you still want to make sure you weld your things because if you didn't weld this and you just attach it, it doesn't show it here, but cr when your Cricut cuts, it will cut out this little piece right here and this little piece right here and this piece here and then all these as well. So I always like to go in and weld them. So then when your machine cuts, it knows, hey, we're not supposed to cut a line in here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on each one of these and then just quick click weld. And again, it doesn't show it, but it's not gonna cut those little lines on here now. So I'm actually gonna get rid of these for now. And I already have these saved because I downloaded them from Def Defont, or I downloaded them from Design Space or from Etsy. So I'm gonna shrink my screen and I'm gonna show you guys. I have these four that I'm going to be working with. 
Again, different colors, so you're gonna have to stay tuned to see what colors I use. So I'm gonna show you really quick what I have to do. Click on make it, and then it's gonna prepare my mats for me. And this is the size it's actually gonna be. I'm gonna push continue because it's telling me one of my mats are gonna be larger than 12 by 12. Please guys, remember when I first started, I forgot to mirror my HTV. Please make sure you mirror your HTV. I've done it way too many times where I forgot and I had to go back and redo everything. So you wanna mirror it so when it cuts out, you're putting the color of your HTV on your mat. So when it cuts out, it's going to be backwards. So actually when it cuts out and you flip it over, it's gonna be the right way. So you want it backwards now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click all of these to be mirrored. There we go, and you can see they're backwards on here. And this is going to be a full page for me. So I love this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Oops, sorry, that popped up there. So I have two screens and sometimes it just pops up. So it's gonna tell me, I'm gonna select my maker and I'm gonna show you my base materials that I use. So when I use holographic vinyl, if you guys know me and you know my channel, I'm sorry, I hate Cricut brand. I always buy whatever is on sale. So including this one, the HT, uh, HTV Rant um, vinyl, I'm going to use this premium vinyl holographic. So it, my maker knows exactly how hard to cut it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my HTV on my green mat. I'm going to flatten it out really well. I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna weed it out. And then I'm gonna show you guys what colors I used. All right guys, so here are my Here's a bag and an SVG file that I have. So here's the arrow that I made and I'm gonna take that off. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like before we go ahead and put it on. And then this one says Chaos Coordinator. I have to say I absolutely love this HTV. You can see that it's kind of like a holographic where there's different colors depending on which angle you look at. So I absolutely love that. And here are the bags that I bought. Um, these are not the best bags um, I've bought before. They're kind of, not the best quality is a little bit cheaper but um for the price it wasn't too bad so if you're interested in these i will leave the link below to these ones that i purchased um but the first thing i'd like to do is get the wrinkles out or get them out the best that i can so i have my heat press set at 360 degrees for 20 seconds and you always have to check what temperature and what pressure you're supposed to put your heat press at um every um, fabric is different so you always have to make sure you're using the correct uh, heat and the pressure for it so I just gave it a little bit of a pre-press trying to get some of these wrinkles out sometimes you won't always get all the wrinkles out but then I'm gonna lay my HT my HTV on here so I'm gonna just put this one first and then it, you can layer them as long as they're not touching each other so as long as that plastic part isn't touching you can layer these so I'm gonna bring this down a little bit and you can always use a ruler and kind of see how much you have on each side but I just like guesstimating trying to see where the middle is and where the top is here and I'm just gonna take the heart piece and go over and kind of just guesstimating again where it goes but I can see there's a gap in the middle here so I'm not touching either plastic part to each other so I like the way it looks so next you want to take your parchment paper or your Teflon paper and put it over here very very important you do not want to press this unless you have something that's going to uh, cover this all right so we're gonna press this down for 20 seconds and I'm gonna to talk to you about my heat press really quick. I absolutely love the heat press versus an iron or an easy press. I've bought an iron, I bought an easy press. I absolutely hate both of them. With both of them, you have to push down and you have to wait and then you have to pick it up and push down and go for another spot. This I believe is a 15 by 15. So it has a rather large spot on it. So I'm gonna pull this up and then be very, very careful. It's very hot. So you're going to take away your paper and then slowly peel back the plastic part. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys. I wish you could honestly see the colors on here because it looks purple. And then you look somewhere else and it looks like a bluish color. I absolutely love how it looks. So I'm just pulling it off carefully. Some of them are cool peel and some of them are just pull while it's hot. This one is just pull while it's hot. So whoops. If you have a spot that comes up, sometimes it happens to me, I just take a scraper and kind of push it down a little bit. Or you can always go back and give it another press. But I'll show you what I do after this. So if I have a problem like that where there is a little bit coming up, I always go back and give it another press to make sure it's on good enough. 
when I give this to somebody or when I sell it, I want it to be perfect. So you just take your little scraper and put it down a little bit. Sometimes I'm always going to be honest with you guys. So if I make a mistake or something happens, I'm always going to be honest and show you in case something happens to you like this. So I pulled off the plastic and now I'm just going to hold it down for a couple seconds, giving it the heat, giving it the pressure to make it stick a little bit better. If you have a mistake like that where that happens, don't think that you ruined your piece. So you just want to go back and give it another nice little press and a little bit of heat. So that was it. And then you just go back and look. As long as you have your parchment paper or your paper over it that's going to protect it, it's going to work just perfectly. So here it is. It's really warm yet, so I'm trying to be careful. Ooh, hot. But here it is, Chaos Coordinators. I love how it is. So another little tip, you don't want to bunch it up. You want to just let it lay somewhere flat. So I'm just going to move it over to the side here. And I'm just going to let it lay flat for a while until I'm finished with it. Now I'm going to grab the next one and do the same thing over again. So this one says, Teach, Love, Inspire. And these are actually all different colors. It's kind of like a greenish color one. And then this is more of a bluer color one. And this is a different color green. So I love that. There's three different colors on here. So again, I'm just going to take my bag and just be very careful not to touch the top. The hot top is where it is, the heat is coming from. So I'm just going to take this. I'm actually going to take my little scraper because I do not want to burn myself. And push this back here. You know, leave it in the comments down below. Do you guys have a heat press? Do you like it? Do you have an easy press? Do you like that? Um, what is your preference on this? I know that I get a lot of people asking me why I got a heat press or which heat press I uh, recommend. This is the only one that I've ever bought, and I love this one so much. I got this off of Amazon maybe two years ago, and again, I will never go back. I love this heat press. It's 15 by 15, so it's a really big surface, and I've never had a problem with it. With the easy press, like I said, you have to sit here, and you have to push on it, and you have to make sure you give it to the right kind of pressure this one you can set the pressure up at the top it's so simple to do so now again I just did a little quick press on it to give it a little bit of heat now I'm gonna put these back on here love teach inspire and you can always change it however you want if you want it to say teach inspire love you can do that um, actually I think that's the way it went because the way that the lines are. So we're gonna do it this way, teach, love, inspire. And again, you can take a ruler and kind of guesstimate, or you can guesstimate where to put this, but I'm just guesstimating and finding the center on both pieces, on both sides here to kind of get the same amount. So always just feel free to take your time because you only have one time to do this. But be very careful because my fingers are getting a little scorched. And again, I cut this out so that the pieces can go a little bit farther up to each other. Or you could do it separate press where you can do each word individual. But I like to try to do it all together as one whole piece. So it's just like that. And then you can kind of look at the sides and see how far you have it. But I like it the way it is. I'm going to take my Teflon paper and put it over here and then just press it for the 20 seconds. So now it's finished. I'm just going to lift up. Pull this away and then carefully peel this off because it is extremely hot. And just like that, it is finished. Teach, love, inspire. And it is so, so hot right now. So I'm going to put this one to the side. I'm going to finish them up, the ones that I have left, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when they're all done. Wow, did these turn out great. I love the colors and the words, and I had so much fun creating these personalized teacher canvas bags. They were so simple to create, and I know they'll bring a big smile to any teacher who receives these. If you're interested in additional teacher gifts, please check my channel for more ideas and step-by-step -step teacher gifts. Have a great day, everyone, and happy crafting!